So part of what we'll do on our um, upcoming exit mastermind group for founders and for CEOs planning their exit is we'll help you to exit from a position of power. Now, what do I mean by that? So often what can happen when you go through an exit process is often you are on somebody else's process. You're doing, you may be driving the train, but you're on somebody else's tracks. For example, maybe you're being bought by a PE firm, right? You're going through their process of what it's like to sell your business. They're dictating, often dictating terms. Often they are running the process because this is something that they do all of the time, right? You are operating under their power. What we will try and do as, as part of the Exit Mastermind is to help you level that up, to understand and uncover where the power sits during an exit conversation. Again, typically we feel that comes from, well, most people think that comes from where the money is, but it doesn't have to be like that, right? These folks have got an asset. In fact, you've got an asset that these folks want. How can you leverage your already strong position as a CEO, as a founder, to really exit from a position of power? What does it mean to have that power? How do you negotiate? That's not simply about, you know, negotiating a price. There's much more to it than that, right? It's not about coming up with some compromised price. It's some, somewhere in the middle of what you want and what they're prepared to pay. That's part of it, don't get me wrong, but that's really not where the power comes into it. It's about understanding truly what you want to negotiate about, right? What is the shape of the business after this purchase, right? Where, is, where are you going to sit after this purchase? Are you going to be part of the business going forward? If so, what's your role? How is your role expanded? How long are you sticking around for? You've got a number of levers you can pull to um, demonstrate the power that you've got during any negotiation. And of course, the biggest part of this is really where the power comes from is up here. It's really feeling like you're going into the process from a position of power. Because again, you've not done this before and you probably never will do this again. So how you go in with the ability to project that power forward to the folks that are buying from you? Because again, have probably done this before or feel like they're in the position of power. How do you project that power forward? How do you operate that's done in a way that's not? It's not about being an asshole and negotiating hard. It's really not about that. It's about projecting your power forward so that the negotiation is fair, right? You're meeting as equal partners, not somebody who's buying you and you are the subservient seller there and have to do exactly what they say. What can you ask for, right? Do you know? right? What should you ask for? What should you accept? How do you negotiate a price up? How do you negotiate what you want from this exit? How do you even know what it is you want and what you can negotiate on during this process? So a big part of what we'll do together as a group is discuss that, right? We'll all explore what our power is when it comes to exiting. Where does our power sit? How can we get more? How comfortable do we feel in terms of executing that power? Again, it's not about bravado. It's really not about that. It's about really having that comfort to understand how you can negotiate and what you can negotiate about. Um, so if you'd like to join us on this group, we'd love to have you. It's a group for exiting founders. It runs for about seven months. We meet every month. Um, each month we either have an exited founder coming and sharing their stories from what's happened, both the good, the bad and the ugly. And um, we'll also have a number of experts coming in talking about things, valuation, what you don't know, what can go wrong, what can go right as well as spending time together, really exploring what it means for us in terms of power, leverage, and what this means to go on a journey with other founders who are doing this at the same time. So if you feel like your ex is perpetually three to five years off, this is the group for you, because this is something about bringing that into a sharp focus. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the group. All right. Bye-bye.